Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Justin with americantrucks.com. Joining me today, we got Floyd to talk about his 2004 F-150. Now, Floyd's setup consists of the 17x9 Black Rhino Warlord. It's a plus 12 millimeter offset. Wrapped around that Black Rhino wheel is the 37-1250 R17 Terra Grappler from Nitto. And making room for those massive tires is, of course, the six inch lift kit. Uh, he's got the Dirt Logic two and a half inch coilovers up front and the Dirt Logic shocks in the back. So, Floyd, awesome setup, man. I love seeing 37s on the F 150. Uh, talk to me about what you were trying to achieve with your truck through this setup. I'm old school, I guess you could say small wheels, big tires. When I bought the truck, it had 22 inch wheels, 37 inch tires. I found the Warlord and I just wasn't sure if that offset was gonna work. Previous offset was the negative and the tire 13 and a half wide, and they were actually flush side of the truck. Now with the 12 millimeter positive, they actually stick out about two inches, which I, it gives a little bit more aggressive look. And like mainly, I just want all black for the most part. I mean, the wheels aren't black, but a lot of people think they are against the black tires, the black truck. So you talk about having the styling, the black like that, or at least with the gray. So I imagine that's why he went with that color as opposed to like a, a chrome or a silver, right? Yeah. So you talked about the offset, the plus 12, um, and that was just because your previous wheels were like a negative and you wanted to just mix it up in that regard? I eyeballed those Warlords probably for about a year before I pull, finally pulled the trigger on it. Once I got them and I got the tires on it and got them put on, I just, there wasn't no looking back on that. How does it transform the look? I mean, if you look at the truck, the day that I bought it, so compared to now, it's a night and day difference. Uh, when I bought, had that chrome plate striping down the bottom of the truck, that was the first thing that went. As soon as I got it home, I think within a month, I peeled it off and it came out pretty good. And then with the chrome wheels, it still didn't look, it didn't look horrible, but I was like, I can deal with that. And then once I got those wheels that I have on it now, once I got those on, everybody that I worked with, they're like, dude, your truck looks even better now. Once I got the windows tinted all black, it's done. Like, <laughs> if anything, might do a chrome delete but that's it. It's amazing just how much a wheel can change the entire look or attitude of a truck. And, and I think you nailed it, man. A big chrome wheel with like small rubber band tires compared to a small aggressive wheel with a big you know, set of aggressive meats on it. It, it. it is night and day. Now we call that plus 12 millimeter on the site like a flush stance, but you actually said 17 by nine plus 12 with the 37, 1250 actually sticks out about an inch or two, you said? Yeah, it does. I have, there's no space for the truck at all, but there's two to three inches of stick out on the sides and it just, oh man, it just looks great. <laughs> Why did you go with this particular tire? Because I heard that they're great in snow, great in pretty much everything, which they are. I don't really, they don't get snow out here very much. It's more ice. And I was like, nothing can help you in ice unless it's studded tires. And I like these ones because they look more street. My truck does not go in the mud. It doesn't go, the most gravel that I see is going to work because I work in a rock quarry. Definitely like the look of them because they just look, I mean, they look beefy, but they're insane. Talk about the Terra Grappler as far as like road manners. How's it drive? Is it loud? Is it smooth? What's your experience been like? It's smooth. It's got a little bit more of a higher pitched hum than a mud terrain would have or anything like that, but I don't think it's really bad at all. Did you ever have the truck recalibrated to like, you know, fix the speed or anything like that or tuned or is it just kind of is what it is? It had a tuner and a little tuner thing in it. I don't even know. I didn't really notice any difference in it. It had a speedometer in it as well. Comparing it to that, my actual speedometer and then like the ones that the cops set on the side of the road within three miles an hour. Big lift kit here, six inch lift with the, the Dirt Logic coilovers up front matching Dirt Logic shocks in the back. Let's talk about, you know, you said the lift was already on the truck, I guess, when you bought it, is that correct? It was. What's your experience been like as far as like ride quality goes? Is it pretty smooth for such a big lift? Is it a little rough? Like what's what's it been like? Comparing it to the new ones, the new one's pretty smooth. For that truck being nine years old, it's really not that bad. It's rough, but once I got the steering stabilizers on it, 
hitting bumps was nothing. Now, did you have any rubbing issues with the 37-1250s and that particular lift kit? Nope. No modifications, anything like that? You haven't cut anything out of the truck? No. Earlier, I did say that when I had the 37 by 1350s on, I would rub like pulling into my driveway or pulling into a parking lot, but only when it was like a dip. One time I rubbed, since I put the 12 and a half on, no rubbing at all. How do you think it looks now? What comes to mind when you see that truck? If you get out of your truck, walk inside somewhere and you don't turn around and look at it, you got the wrong truck. Is there anything uh, you have plans to change up or is there anything you might have done a little bit differently? I think the only thing that I'm going to really change up anymore is I might get painted bumpers. I like the OEM bumpers, but I just want them black. And I think that'd be pretty much everything for the exterior. Interior wise, I'm going to put new carpet in it because it's pretty blown out and weather tech floor mats. I will be getting new uh, shocks and everything eventually as well. But other than that, that's pretty much all I'm going to do with the truck. Listen, Floyd, the truck looks killer, man. Uh, again, I really appreciate you uh, taking some time. To talk with us here today. It really, uh, really looks good, man. So there you go guys that was floyd again with his 2004 f-150 uh, again just to refresh on the setup 17 by 9 black rhino warlord uh, plus 12 millimeter offset the tire is a 37 1250 r17 at a ridge grappler and making it all possible is that six inch lift with the dirt logic coilovers up front and shocks in the rear guys we hope you enjoyed this video and remember for all things truck keep it right here at americantrucks.com